Cross Document Transitions are newly supported in the View Transitions API. The Close Watcher API is available once again. The Gamepad API now includes Trigger Rumble. And there's plenty more. I'm Adriana Jara. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 126. The View Transitions API gives you the power to create seamless visual transitions between different views. And now it is available by default for same origin navigations. Previously, it was only available for single page application architectures. To implement a cross document view transition, both ends need to opt in. To do this, use the view transition add rule and set the navigation descriptor to auto. Cross document view transitions use the same building blocks and principles as same document view transitions. Visit the link in the description to learn more about the View Transitions API. For the dialog and popover elements, the Close Watcher API makes it easy to handle close requests, like the escape key on desktop platforms or the back gesture on Android. This feature was originally shipped in Chrome 120, but was disabled because of an unexpected interaction with the dialog element. It has been re-enabled in Chrome 126 after improvements to minimize the previous problems. For samples and a demo, check out the link in the description. The Trigger Rumble capability is now part of the Gamepad API. It enhances gaming experiences on the web for compatible controllers. Trigger Rumble extends the Gamepad Haptic Actuator, which is an interface that represents hardware in the controller designed to provide haptic feedback to the user if available. Trigger Rumble allows web applications that use the Gamepad API to also vibrate the triggers of those Gamepad devices. With the code on the screen, you can check if the functionality is supported in the browser and how to trigger, pun intended, Trigger Rumble. Check out the article in the description for more information to add haptic feedback to your games. And of course, there's plenty more. Geolocation coordinates and geolocation position now include a to JSON method. In DevTools, you can inspect storage buckets in a dedicated tree in the application storage section. And Chrome OS now supports tab mode for web apps. All the details, including links, docs, and specs are in the post linked in the description. Hit the subscribe button now so that you don't miss the latest Chrome DevTools video, the CSS podcast, and more. Yo soy Adriana Jara. And as soon as Chrome 127 is released, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.